Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home and I want to show you the Blu-rays that I picked up during my trip to Los Angeles and Hollywood and also tell you a little bit about why I was there and what I did on the trip. So I just got back from Los Angeles uh, two days ago. It was a fun trip. I was on the ground for like 48 hours. Very quick turnaround. I got there 1 o'clock on Wednesday. I was on a plane Friday at 3 p.m. But I went out there for the Media Play News 40 Under 40 event, which I was honored to be a part of this year. Now, Media Play News is probably the biggest home entertainment uh, magazine out there. They have a great website. I've referenced them for many years for home entertainment and physical media statistics and news. And they do a 40 under 40 every year. 40 people under the age of 40 in the home entertainment industry get selected. And I was lucky enough to be selected this year alongside people from you know Paramount, Lionsgate, Universal, Warner Brothers, Netflix, Amazon, you name it, all over the industry. So it was a really cool event um, and I had a lot of fun. But that was my excuse to go out to LA for the very first time. Now, while I was there, I went to the Academy Museum, which I posted a short video of on my social media profiles. Um, I will be getting a longer breakdown of that for YouTube. I also went to the Paramount lot, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the insides on the uh, Paramount lot tour that I got. But I also got a bunch of Blu-rays, both from Paramount and from a trip to Amoeba Music. So I wanna show you all of that in this video. So first, let me show you the stuff I got from Amoeba, but quickly, let's talk about who I went with because I met up with Dice K Beppu and if you don't know him he's got a great YouTube channel he does a lot on Criterion Collection uh, releases he has an incredible collection himself and he just moved from Tokyo over to LA like a month ago so the timing just worked out I had had him on my podcast I went on his channel but I, I met up with him and I was like hey you know I got some time before my flight do you want to hit up Amoeba because I'd love to go with you and he was all about it so he came and picked me up we went to amoeba he was even nice enough to drive me to lax after and get me to my flight super nice guy incredible dude check out his youtube channel but i want to show you what i got and i'll throw in some clips of amoeba here as well so you can see our trip to be honest i didn't take a bunch of video in amoeba because i think both of us were just so busy just browsing and talking movies, which was a lot of fun. So first up, I got Hagazusa. This is a folk horror movie, which I had heard a lot about. I love folk horror stuff like the Severin uh, folk horror box sets, one of my favorites. Love this sort of thing, especially witches. So this was actually released by Bloody Disgusting and Doppelganger. I believe it's an Austrian movie, but for $12.99, I had not ever seen this in stores, so I definitely wanted to pick that up, and that was a no-brainer. I also wanted to get some Westerns, which Dice K knows really well, so I was asking for some recommendations, and I came across this one. I think it's Jubal, and this is a Criterion Collection Blu-ray with a 4K scan, a great cast, including Glenn Ford, Ernest Borgnine, and Rod Steger, and it was only $12.99 on Blu-ray, so I grabbed this. Dice K said it was a decent pickup, so I can't wait to check that one out. Also filled the gap in my collection with The Host from Bong Joon ho uh, it was in the directors section at amoeba which is a very cool thing that they have where they where they have all the directors separated out and uh 12.99 collector's edition blu-ray i have not seen this but it sold me because it says right here on par with jaws and if that's true i'm gonna probably enjoy it next one up was a really cool find i got ted bundy vinegar syndrome with the slip cover limited edition awesome artwork it is hand numbered number 819 out of 5000 don't know if you can see that but this was like their vinegar syndrome like archive collection i think they were calling it so really high quality slip cover you know i don't know much about the movie but anything vinegar syndrome interests me and it was 24.99 so not cheap but for vinegar syndrome limited edition with the slip cover also supporting amoeba that was a no-brainer and then i got a couple of kino lorber titles one of which was actually recommended to me a while ago by heath serial at midnight uh, which was tentacles I finally found this with a slipcover for a fairly good price, $19.99. Uh, no issue there considering I, I, it had the slipcover. That's what I was really searching down and I wanted to have with this release. And, you know, again, he said, you know, if you like Jaws and you like that kind of creature feature, this one also is supposed to have an excellent soundtrack and I can't wait to watch it because I've been searching for that for a long time. And of course, Amoeba had it. And then I also got brand new sealed copy of Ants, another obviously creature feature, another kind of cheesy, uh, I think sort of a B movie is my guess based on what I'm reading, but a 70s, you know, 1977. So, you know, after Jaws came out, all this stuff. You got ants, uh, this was 77, tentacles, you had orca, you had grizzly. I mean, people just started going hard on like the creature features, the animal horror. So this one was only $12.99, which sealed with the slipcover 
was a pretty good deal. Now I know Dice K is gonna post a video on his channel as well with uh, his pickups, so go look for that. He got some really cool stuff. I gave him some recommendations as well. We had a great time though. I also grabbed some cassette tapes, browsed the music a little bit. Uh, that store is is incredible. Uh, wish there were more of them. I've heard the original location was even better, but honestly, I was blown away by it and it was well worth visiting if you're ever out in that area. Plus, you get to walk right along the Hollywood Walk of Fame to get to it, so that's super cool too. So that was my Amoeba haul, but I also met up with a friend of mine at Paramount, Todd Sokolov, who uh, also we, we had on the podcast and I had interviewed. Uh, I met up with him right after I landed. I got to my hotel, I checked in, I went over to Paramount on an Uber and met up with him and got a little lot tour. Um, but I also hung out with him for a little bit and we talked movies and he was super generous and he gave me a haul of uh, Paramount stuff that had been licensed out to like Kino, Arrow Video, Shout Factory. He had all these Paramount titles which uh, most of which I didn't have in my collection. There were a few duplicates, which I actually gave to Dice K as a thank you. Uh, Hugo, which I already owned. Black Sunday, which I already owned. So he'll probably show those off in his video. But I want to show you what I got. First off from Arrow Video, we had the Assassination Bureau. Todd was gracious enough to give this one to me. This is from the 60s. Oliver Reed. I don't know much about it, but Technicolor had me sold. I love anything Technicolor. Also hooked me up with another Arrow video, a little bit of like a, a Mean Streets type of uh, Blu-ray here with John Scarrett, uh, so, sorry, Tom Scarrett fighting back, which I don't know. I was telling Dice K, these um, 70s movies and sort of like early 80s, late 70s, like outside of Jaws and the shark exploitation stuff, there's a pretty big gap in my viewing history. So this was another one that I'm excited to grab. Todd also gave me World War Z on 4K from Shout Factory, which I did not have. Very interested to see what the uh, new 4K master uh, of this looks like. I haven't actually not heard a lot about it, but I saw this movie in theaters and I really enjoyed it, but I will say I wish they stuck a little bit closer to the book. There's a lot of great stuff in the book they didn't cover in the movie. Also got The Nutty Professor on 4K. This is one I was definitely going to pick up at some point from Paramount Presents. This was their 40th title, and uh, Todd, Todd was gracious enough to give me one. And then I got a bunch of stuff that Paramount had licensed out to uh, Kino Lorber, including The Longest Yard on 4K, and I love Kino Lorber 4Ks. And these also, a lot of movies that... Um, I either haven't seen in a very long time or haven't seen at all that I'm going to be able to rewatch in 4K. The original Italian Job with Michael Caine. I also got Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood, which I can't wait to watch. I got Paul Newman, Nobody's Fool. And then I also got Charles Bronson's Death Wish. So a really, really generous haul from Todd. And like I said, you know, he gave me all of these in a bag and, you know, he was just like, hey, these are for you. And I was like, un unbelievable that, you know, not only was he gracious enough to give me like a private studio tour, walk around, get the history of the Paramount lot, but hooked me up with a bunch of their recent releases. So he's a great guy. He's doing great things for Paramount over there in the home entertainment, physical media world, just announced Paramount scares, has more Paramount presents stuff coming. Lots of like licensing stuff for Kino stuff for shout stuff for arrow. It's, it's going to be really exciting next few years I think for them so um, I'll do a full video on the lot tour when I edit that and put it all together and I'll do like a little voiceover to talk about it and show you guys what I saw but super nice and then um, you know any of those duplicates which I had a few of I gave to Dice K which he was more than happy to have so that was really really nice so thank you Todd if you're watching and uh, thank you to Dice K for for picking me up and driving me to Amoeba showing me around a little bit getting me to the airport on time which is never an easy task in Los Angeles as I learned uh, but we got there on time we had a great time grabbed some lunch went to Amoeba um, and I, I also managed to meet up with a few other people, uh, Adam Yeend, who uh, has been a, a longtime follower. He actually went with me to the 40 Under 40 event. Uh, he works in the industry. He used to work at Fox. He also was on my podcast. So got to meet up with him, grab dinner with him after the event, had some great conversations on movies and what's going on in the physical media world. Um, 
and also got to meet up with uh, you know guy I work with my day job so really cool like I met up with a lot of people I got to the museum I got to the studio a lot and I got to see Jurassic Park in 3d at Universal City Walk which I'll also be doing a quick little video review of so it was a great trip but that's what I got for blu-rays that's what I figured I could show you first and then I'll work on editing all of that other stuff in the coming days so you can see what I was up to while I was out there but thank you to everyone who I met up with thanks to Todd Dice K Adam um, had a great time and thanks to Media Play News for the event and honoring me and giving me, you know, a reason to, to get out to L.A. Even if it was just for 48 hours, it was well worth it in a, a pretty crazy time. Definitely got some whiplash and some jet lag, but uh, I just loved Amoeba, loved everybody I met with, loved seeing all the stuff out there. I'd never been, so it was a really cool experience. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe here on the channel. I'll have 4K reviews coming again soon. It's been a crazy week. Had my son's birthday. Went to LA. I've been gone for like 10 days, just out of commission, but I'm getting back in the swing of things here in September. Um, so lots of 4K reviews, lots more physical media. So make sure you're subscribed. You can follow me on social media. All those links are in the description. You can scan the QR code right here, and that'll bring you, if you're watching on a TV, that'll bring you right to all my links. Just pop your phone out, scan that code. But thank you all for watching, listening. I appreciate all the support. Uh, you know, this event and this honor and everything would not have happened without this channel, the people I met up with. None of this would have happened without Films at Home. So thank you all for your support. 115,000 strong and counting. It's been incredible. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you all soon.